Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class and of course uh, today we are going to continue our discussion on uh, periodic table and of course we started in the last episode talking about families of elements and today we are going to see the first family which is what the group one group one elements that is the ones that are called the alkali metals and I want to tell you why they are called the alkali metals for today all right so uh group one what matters the elements in group one include have hydrogen we have lithium right we have sodium we have potassium we have rubidium we have cesium we have francium all right so these are the elements that what that belong to what to group one right we have hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and what and francium all right so these are the elements in group one of the periodic table these are the ones we call the alkali metals they are called the alkali metals now the most important elements in this group right usually our this hydrogen uh, sodium and what and potassium right these are the most important what elements in this group and of course hydrogen is placed in group one here because hydrogen has one electron in its outermost what shell hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell and that is why it is placed in group one here and also because it can easily ionize by electron loss right it's also it can easily ionize by electron loss that is why we put hydrogen in group one because it has one electron in the atom shell and because it because it can easily ionize by what electron loss right i told you what what ionization what means right loss of what of a ion by a metal what atom right so if you see uh uh loss of an electron by a metal atom to form an ion is called ionization so if you see hydrogen can easily form what the hydrogen proton the one we call proton Right? If you have been watching all of our videos, all of our previous episodes, we are talking about proton most, mostly. In fact, when we talk about acid base, when we started, when we did our study on acid bases and salts, we talked a lot about the proton what atom, right? That's what we call proton hydrogen ion. It can easily what lose what electron to form what an ion. All right? That is why, of course, hydrogen, why hydrogen is placed here in group one. Very importantly, also, you should also know that group one metals are called alkali what metals and the reason is because they can easily what react with what with cold water they can react with cold water to liberate hydrogen gas to liberate to liberate hydrogen gas and form alkalis and easily what form alkalis all right so this is why what we call what uh, group one metals uh, so sorry group one elements alkali metals because what they can easily react with cold water to liberate hydrogen gas and what form what alkalis. All right. Now, another important thing you need to know about group one metal is that they are univalent reactive what metal, like we said, univalent. Univalent. That means they have what one electron that was in the outermost shell. They have what one valency. Right? They are univalent what reactive metals and they are strong reducing agents. They are strong reducing agents right they are univalent reactive metals and they are also very strong reducing agents because of their ease because of their ease to what to lose their atoms with electrons to form what ions because of their ease to easily what lose their atoms with electrons to form what ions that is their ease to what to ionize or their ease of what ionization all right because of their ease of what of ionization so they are what univalent and what they are very strong using agents now that thing you should know about group one metals is that they can be cut with a knife right you can use a knife to cut group one, a group one metal they can be cut with a knife and when they are cut with a knife is because this is the reason why they can be cut with a knife right that is because what they are what they are they are very very well soft Right, they can be cut with a knife because of their what because of their softness. And when they are cut with a knife, 
right they expose what a very shiny surface they expose a very shiny surface which what tarnishes what easily it tarnishes easily on what or uh, due to that due to that oxidation with what with atmospheric oxygen right when that sh shiny surface comes in contact with atmospheric oxygen it tarnishes what I mean by tarnishes is that it's uh, uh discolors right discoloration happens or rather we can say that what that the metal surface that was shining before becomes more dull it can become more easily dull so for you to what to prevent that tarnishing this is what i mean by tarnishing 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 is spelled like this right right you can what easily what tarnish they can easily tarnish once once exposed to what to the water to the atmosphere and because the atmospheric oxygen what will oxidize it so it will lose that shiny surface right so because of this they are usually was stored under oil. You must take note of this now, right? Group one metals are stored under oil to prevent what tarnishing. To prevent tarnishing, group one metals are stored under oil. So when you store what group one metals under oil, that tarnishing what is what is prevented. All right. So these are what group one what uh uh, elements uh, hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cation francium all right and we say that what hydrogen is placed there in group one because it wants it has what one electron is in its atomic shell and because what it can easily ionize by electron rods to form what to give what this uh, hydrogen what proton all right and we say that group one metals are what are univalent and strong what univalent or reactive metal and strong reducing agent and because of their ease of loss of atoms what electrons all right so now that we have seen all this uh i'll we'll talk about tarnishing also now we said that what uh, uh group one metals can easily be caught with a knife due to their softness thereby exposing what a shiny surface that is tarnishing due to the oxidation with atmospheric oxygen and because of this group one metals are stored under oil you must take note of this they are stored under oil to prevent tarnishing now we're going to look at some proper some properties of what of uh, of group one what metal such as what uh, solubility solubility and solubility and stability to heat solubility and stability to heat I look at solubility first all right solubility first now first thing you need to know is that what group one metal oxides uh, dissolve in water to form strong alkalis one group one metal oxides dissolve dissolve in water to form strong alkalis. In fact, most metal oxides, most metal oxides are insoluble in water. All right. Now, this is what solubility of group one metals. Group one metals group one metal oxide dissolve in water to form what very strong alkalis when they dissolve in water they form very strong what alkalis right in fact most metal oxide are insoluble in water like example is a uh, metals of uh, transition metals metals of um uh, oxides of uh, sorry of hard metals like those of transition metal like copper iron zinc chromium right all those ones that they do not dissolve in water at all due to the world limited basicity right basicity Right, due to that word, due to that word, limited word basicity. They do not what dissolve in water at all. Right, you know what basicity is. We have talked about it when we talk about acid base and salt. I wanted to tell you just now, but I said, let me we told you because you have to go back and watch and watch what all that we have been doing before now, so that you can follow us what accordingly. Now, group one metal oxides dissolve in water to form what uh stronger calyx, and we said that most metal oxides are what insoluble in water. That is, that is they do not dissolve what in water. Now, let's see. Group one triosocarbonates are soluble in water and together with ammonium, together with ammonium triosocarbonates, triosocarbonates. In fact, all other carbonates are not soluble in water all other triosocarbonates are not soluble in water 
All right. So as you can see, if you know, if you talk about uh, after talking about solubility and stability of heat of of, of group one metals. In fact, we're not going to do it the same thing for group two, uh, for group three and four and so on, right? Because from here now, it's giving us what I'm giving you. The total, I'm summarizing everything for you, right? For you to understand. And this one, there are exam questions. So you have to take note of them. You have to take note of them. Group one metal oxide dissolves in water to form stronger calyes. Most metal oxides are insoluble in water, right? So group one uh, trisocarbonate are soluble in water. They are soluble in water. In fact, together with ammonium trisocarbonate, all other trisocarbonates of other groups are not what soluble in water. Then number three, group one tri triosonitrates are soluble in water. In fact, all triosonitrates are soluble in water. Right, so we have to take note of that all triosonitrates form they are what they are soluble in water. All all the point triosonitrates also was soluble. All other mm. sorry, excuse me, all other triosonitrates are what are soluble in water. Then number four, group one tetraozosulfates are soluble in water. In fact, all sulfates. All sulfates are soluble in water except those of except those of calcium, calcium, lead, calcium, lead, barium, barium, and mercury. All right. So group one. Uh, tet uh, tetraozo surface are soluble in water, and all surfaces are soluble except those of calcium, lead, barium, and mercury. A typical exam question. This is a typical exam question you may be asked. Um, which of the following tetraozo surface is not soluble in water? So you see, maybe you see group one, met uh, group one element, you see group three elements, you see, but you will add what one of these, right? They are one of these. Just know that what these surfaces are the ones that are not soluble in water. Calcium surface, barium surface, mercury surface, lead surface. They are not what soluble in water. They are not soluble in water. Then of course, lastly, we we'll look at what uh, group one chlorides. Group one chlorides are soluble in water. In fact, all chlorides are soluble. All chlorides are soluble except mercury one chloride, right? Except copper one chloride, copper one chloride, and even silver chloride. Silver chloride is not what soluble, sorry, a silver chloride. All right now but there's one important one which is what lead two chloride lead two chloride is soluble only in warm water all right lead two chloride is soluble only in warm water so all chlorides are soluble in water except for mercury one chloride copper one chloride and silver chloride lead two chloride is soluble only in warm water it's a typical exam question all right, which of the following chloride is soluble in warm water? All right, so you see what other option there, then you see lead to chloride. Lead to chloride is soluble or is soluble only in what in warm water. So these are what are the properties of what of, of group one metal when it comes to water solubility. Right? Group one metal oxide like dissolve in water to form what stronger calyte. Most metal oxide like are insoluble in water. Group one trisocarbonate are soluble in water together with ammonium trisocarbonate. All other trisocarbonate are not soluble in water. Then we say group one trisonitrate are soluble in water. All trisonitrate are water are what are soluble in water. They are all water soluble. Then group one tetrasulfate six uh, tetrasulfates are soluble in water. All sulfates are soluble in water except those of calcium, lead, barium, and mercury. Then group one chlorides are soluble in water. And all chlorides are soluble except mercury one chloride, copper one chloride, and silver chloride. I told you that what lead chloride is what is only soluble in what in warm water. All right. So now let's quickly look at stability to heat. 
stability to it as a property of group one metals. Stability, how stable are uh, group one elements to it? How stable are they? How stable are group one metals to it? So that will take us to stability to heat. Stability, stability to heat. Okay, so now we we'll talk about what so the word that stability to heat. I'll we'll look at what that word that solubility, right? And now we're discussing that stability to heat. Now, number one, group one. Group one try also carbonates are stable to heat. Are stable to heat. Even what barium trisocarbonate, even barium trisocarbonate, even uh barium trisocarbonate is what is stable. In fact, then all others are not stable all right they're not stable to heat all right now group one trisocarbonate are stable to heat including barium trisocarbonate even barium trisocarbonate is stable or to heat all other words and all others are not what stable to heat now let's look at what tetra other surface okay that is group one tetra of the surface clean that up group one tetra of the surface Group one tetra ozo sulfates are stable to heat. Group one tetra ozo sulfates are what are stable to heat. Even the tetra ozo of what of calcium and magnesium are stable to heat. Calcium, calcium and magnesium tetra ozo sulfates. Are stable to heat. All others, all others decompose, or all that tend to decompose on eating. All others tend to decompose on hitting them. All right. Now, group one tetra surface are stable to heat. Right. Now, calcium and magnesium are in group two. Right. Right, they are also what stable or to heat. They are also stable or to heat. All other uh, tetra are what are uh, uh, they, they tend to what to decompose on heating. They tend to decompose on what on heating. So please just take note of that. Now let's let's look at what the chlorides. The chlorides. Group one chlorides also are stable to heat. Chlorides are stable to heat. And this is the reason why they are used in flame tests, right? They are usually what used in what in flame tests. This is why, in fact, all chlorides are what are stable to heat. That is why, reason why, reason why they are used, used in flame tests, all right? In flame tests, because what they are stable to heat, they can resist what. Uh, uh, heat all right now then uh, of course let's look at group one group one try nitrates decompose on heating to give the corresponding diozonitrates and oxygen all right group one trials of nitrate decompose on heating to give the, the corresponding word diose nitrate and oxygen and know that all that other others uh decompose decompose on heating to give the metal oxide decompose on heating to give the oxide Right, then also we have what nitrogen four oxide. And oxygen gas. Alright, so group one trials and nitrate decompose on heating to give the corresponding dials and nitrate and oxygen. Right. Now other decompose on heating to give 
uh, to give all the to give the oxide nitrogen four oxide and what and uh, the oxygen what gas is what sort of what giving all right now of course you should also know that what um, uh, the trials of nitrate of uh, of mercury of gold and what and silver they compose on heating to give the metal nitrogen four oxide and oxygen right to give the metal nitrogen four oxide and what and oxygen all right so when they decompose right they give you what the metal nitrogen four oxide and what and oxygen okay so for silver silver gold and mercury trouser nitrates decompose on heating to give the metal right then nitrogen four oxide and oxygen gas now then there's another last one called ammonium trouser nitrate ammonium ammonium tri oxonitrate decompose on heating to give to give laughing gas to give laughing gas laughing gas wow that is what n2o all right so uh please take note of what this what trials and nitrates group one trials and nitrate decompose on heating to give first of all the corresponding dials and nitrate and oxygen right others decompose others others decompose on heating to give the oxide to give what the oxide then nitrogen four oxide and oxygen right nitrogen they give the oxide nitrogen four oxide and oxygen all right now silver gold and mercury trials and nitrate decompose on heating to give what the metal it first of all gives the metal first the metal for example if silver are going to have ag if it's a silver what nitrate are going to have ag first then you are, are going to have what no2 then are not going to have what oxygen what gas liberated right first so you give the metal metal it gives ag not ag something it gives the metal nitrogen four oxide and oxygen gas now ammonium transnitrate what the composite on it to give us what to give us laughing gas n2o and water laughing gas and water all right and water all right so that is what uh uh, uh ammonium trials or nitrate this laughing gas or laughing gas which of the following is typical exam question which of the following is called laughing gas and okay i think I, I remember that question very well which of the following is called laughing gas you have um, the option n2o no2 no3 i mean something something like that so confuse you right so please make sure that you know that n2o is laughing gas and of course it's obtained when ammonium trials and nitrate what decomposes on heating right which gives us the product of that reaction is what uh n2o laughing gas and water so stability to heat right i'll talk about solubility now i'll talk about stability to heat group one trials of carbonate are stable to heat even including barium trials of carbonate all others are not stable to heat group one tetrals sulfates are stable to heat calcium and magnesium tetrals of acids are stable to heat all others tend to decompose on heating Group 1 chlorides are stable to heat, reason why they are used in flame tests. All right. Now, group 1 trials of nitrate decompose on heating to give the corresponding dials of nitrate and oxygen. Others decompose on heating to give the oxide, nitrogen four oxide, and oxygen gas. Silver, gold, and mercury trials of nitrate decompose on heating to give the metal, nitrogen four oxide, and oxygen gas. Ammonium trials of nitrate decompose on heating to give laughing gas N2O and water all right so please if you have not liked this video what you are doing is very wrong give that video a like right now so that other students can easily find this video likewise if you have not subscribed you are doing yourself you are give, giving yourself what uh i give yourself harm because uh subscribing to this youtube channel is of what benefit to you because once we publish any new video you'll be among the first to be notified on your phone that we have released a new video and do not forget to share this video to your friends and family download the o3 school jam cbt practice app immediately and start practicing activate it and start practicing immediately and i'll see you in the next episode